So we're here to radio track swift parrots. Um, we've discovered that there's a really fantastic sized flock here of about 40 to 60 birds of swift parrots on the Bush Heritage Takata Hills property. And it's super exciting because there's this magic uh, old growth white box mugger ironbark woodland in here that um, is really unique in this area and the birds are coming here to feed on the nectar of the winter flowering trees. And um, right now across New South Wales, there's very little nectar actually across the state. Um, and this place is, is one of the, the key areas for the species right now. So we're here to try and shed a bit more light on uh, what the birds are doing and where they're going. We, we know that they like these habitats, but we um, don't really know anything about their movements. because we live in a very um, you know, burst and boom sort of cycle here in Australia where you've got droughts and rain and, and very variable environment. This bird, when it migrates, it has to go to different regions in different years in order to find the food it needs to survive. And so in terms of conservation, we really have all the different issues from um, agricultural clearing through to urban development, forestry issues, mining issues, pretty much any impact you can think of on the natural environment. Um, you know, these birds, their habitat is subject to those. So the movements are such a, an integral and important part of their life cycle that we know nothing about. When people have tried to track them in the past, they have put the tags on the birds and then never seen them again like they just got up and moved they're called a swift parrot for a reason right so <laughs> we came up with the idea of using a drone um, because when you're radio tracking and walking around for hours on end with your arm up in the air listening for the beep, beep sound um, you really realize there's got to be a better way and what you're what you tend to be doing is trying to find high ground so the higher you are the better you uh, signal you will get from the tag um, and so with the drone, the idea is that you can launch the drone wherever you are and you have that high point without having to scale mountains or climb on top of your car or hire helicopters. Um, you can now have this small lightweight tool that you can take out with you and, um, and take it wherever you need to be and really rapidly get very confident about whether or not the birds are in that area.